Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome. I'm Miss Lissa. Welcome to Sunday school. Not really Sunday school, maybe. You might be here on a Tuesday or a Friday and that's all good. Mm -hmm. But it's what we used to do when we would actually come to the center for spiritual living in San Jose. Um, what we used to do is come into this classroom and have some Sunday school on Sunday, but now it's a video. So I hope that you're here watching the video. I know you are because I'm talking to you. I'm glad you're watching our video and we're going to learn about a lot of things today. If you've never been here before, welcome. My name is Miss Liza and I am going to be teaching you today about God and about gratitude. So the way we um, start every Sunday is we talk about all the things that God is. Now, God is everything. It is everything. It's everything in the world. It's everything in the universe. It's the stars. It's the clouds. It's your television. It's your cell phone. It's your bed. It's your eyeball. <laughs> God is everything. And it's good. And our job as the human people, as the beings, is to find that good in everything. And one place, one really important place where God is, is in us. And the way we celebrate that every week is we light these candles. Now, you have, you have real candles at home and big people to help you. Don't try to do them alone. Um, you could write some, light some real candles if you wanted, or you can just say this along with me. So there's a lot of things here that it says God is, and this week I'd like to explain a little bit about what each of these things is before we say that we are it too, okay? So it says God is life. So God is all the things that are alive. It's life, it's movement and brain activity and all that stuff about your life, all of your memories, all the good stuff. God is life, God is light. Gosh, you know, we know that every day we're going to wake up and there's going to be, the sun's going to come up. There's light. There's also light inside of you, right? Things that just make everything bright and beautiful, right? Yeah. So God is light. God is joy. Joy is the same as happiness. You have felt happy. You have felt joyful. You ever want to skip? I like to skip. When I'm feeling joyful, I get up and I skip. <laughs> For me, joy is skipping a lot, a lot of skipping. God is peace. That's when you are knowing everything is good. You have felt that way, right? Did you ever like snuggle with someone? You just feel everything's nice. Or maybe you're just having a beautiful time. Maybe you're sipping on some lemonade, just feeling so peaceful and happy. Yeah, God is peace. It's knowing everything is good. God is love. You have that inside of you. There's so many things you love. I know you love people and it might be foods that you love or activities that you love, TV shows that you love, right? That's all God. That's love. God is beauty. Did you ever look at something and think, oh, that's so pretty. Like maybe some birds flying in the sky, that beauty. That's God, that beauty, yeah. And God is power. Do you know you have so much power inside of you to do whatever you need to do? Mm -hmm. I do too, I have it too. And today I'm choosing to use my power right here and teach you about God. So let's light these candles and I'm gonna say God is something and then you're gonna say, I am that too. Are you ready? Here we go. God is life. I am life. God is light. I am light. God is joy. I am joy. God is peace. I am peace. God is love. Say, I am love. God is beauty. You say, I am beauty. God is power. I am power. And together we say, all of these things God is, I am. Oh, yay. That makes me so happy every time I think about that I get to be everything God is. I have God inside of me. And that makes me feel very, very grateful, very thankful. You know, if you get to have something like getting to have God inside of you, well, then you say thanks, right? 
That's what we're learning about today. Every month we have a different virtue and this month our virtue has been gratitude or thankfulness. And that's cool because, you know, Thanksgiving is coming, right? It's coming out this week and Thanksgiving is coming and that's a day when we all say things that we're thankful for. I've got some puppets here. I'm gonna do some thankfulness. Let's see if they know how to do it. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, look. Who's this? I'm Dr. Lopez. Hi, Dr. Lopez. Hello. My, my name is, is, is Billy. Hi, Billy. So Billy's going to go see Dr. Lopez. Let's see what happens. Hi, Dr. Lopez. Hi, Billy. I'm going to give you a shot today, a flu shot, so you don't get sick. I, I, no, no, I don't like it. I don't want it. And I don't like you. Oh my goodness. Isn't Billy being great? I mean, Dr. Lopez is being so nice. She's going to give him a shot so he doesn't get sick. Now it might hurt a little bit. But is he feeling grateful? Being grateful or thankful? Mm -mm. And how's Dr. Lopez feeling? She's feeling a little sad. I am sad because I'm just trying to help him. Yeah. Let's try it again. Let's this time... Have Billy remember that he should be grateful, okay? You ready? Billy, are you here? Yeah, here I am. Billy, I'm going to give you a flu shot today. Yeah. It's going to hurt a little, but it's really going to help you. I know, and, and thank you. Thank you for doing it. I know you don't wanna hurt me, and I know that you're just doing it to make me feel better, to make sure that I don't get sick. Uh-huh, so I'm going to give it to you. Your mom and dad want you to have it. Uh, okay. And 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 your grandpa and your Uncle Joe do too. Okay. Go ahead. Get ready. Okay. Thank you for giving me my shot. Is he being grateful now? Yeah. He is. So that's how you feel grateful. How is Dr. Lopez feeling now? Oh, so much happier. I'm glad Billy's going to let me give him the shot. Yeah. Everyone's happy when you feel grateful for things. And, you know, one, one thing that we do here at our center is we pray. And praying is just pretty much like remembering that you have God inside of you and you can use it to help you to do anything. So we have a five-step prayer. And we start by saying, God is all there is. That's the number one, okay? And then God's inside of me. And then the third step is, if I have God inside of me, I can do anything I need to do. The fourth step is, thank you. That's what we're learning about today. And the fifth step is, let it go. Okay? So the first step, Let's see, let's say a prayer about, let's just say a prayer about gratitude, about things that you're thankful for. Think about some of them. You got them? God is all there is. God's inside of me. I, I have God inside of me and that means I can do whatever I need to do. I'm thankful for having God inside of me. And I'm also thankful for the sun. I am thankful for ponies. And I'm thankful for candy. I still have some Halloween candy left. Yay, I'm gonna let this prayer go. I just remembered that I have a lot of power in me because I have God inside of me. Yay, that's a prayer. That's how we pray. And that prayer had a lot of gratitude in it, didn't it? Yeah, so what else? Oh, meditation. Oh, do you know what that is? It's a big word, meditation. Clap it again. How many syllables? Meditation. Four syllables. Wow. Four syllables in meditation. What does it even mean? Do you know? It means sitting quiet and still and thinking all good things because you know what? Sometimes you feel yucky. Did you ever feel yucky? Just yucky. You got yuckies in your brain or maybe in your heart. Maybe you're mad at someone. Maybe somebody broke your toy and you are feeling mad at them. Now, do you want to stay mad? No. Who picks if you're mad or you're happy? 
You do. You get to pick. So, something that will help you pick happy and joyful. Remember, we learned about joy. Where's joy? We learned about joy. Yeah. Something that will help you remember to feel happy and joyful as much as you can is meditation because it's this thing where we control our brain. And what we do is we practice. We exercise our brain. So what we do is we put on some music, some nice music. Let me find it here. Getting my music ready. Oh, there it is. And then we take some deep breaths and we sit. We're going to sit quietly for two minutes. I bet you can do it. Are you ready? Okay. You can lay down if you want to do this. You can cuddle with a toy. You can cuddle yourself. However you want to do it. I like to sit nice and still. I touch my finger, my middle finger and my thumb together. I rest them on my, on my crisscross applesauce legs. And I am going to take some deep breaths. Just one, I think. Breathe in. Breathe out. We're going to close our eyes and we're going to think happy thoughts, good things. Control that brain for two minutes. Are you ready? Are you ready? Go. And gently open up your eyes. Oh, does your brain feel exercised? Sometimes when you exercise your body, you feel very tired afterwards. But I always feel very rested after I... I feel very rested. Feel, sorry, I'm playing with my technology, getting the music off. I feel very rested after I meditate. Do you feel rested? Yes, I do too. Huh. Well, I feel so rested. I think I'm ready for a song. Now, we've been learning this song all month. All month, we've been singing it together. And it's about gratitude, okay? So get your thumbs out and say, uh, what do we say? How does this song go? Let me remember. Do you remember? You remember? Good. Okay. Oh, here's how it goes. Get your thumbs up. Point at yourself and say, I'm grateful for lots of things. Can you say that? I'm grateful for lots of things. And then say, being grateful makes me sing. Can you say that? Being grateful makes me sing. Then we're going to say, count my blessings every day. That means you think about all the things that you get to have, right? You should be grateful for a lot of things. You get to have a lot. 
Count my blessings every day. You should do that. It always makes me happy to count my blessings. Then say, when I do, mm -hmm, here's what I say. Here's what I say. I say, God gives me a lot plus more. Can you say that? God gives me a lot plus more. And then stop and think about what you're grateful for. You ready to sing? Here we go. I'm grateful for lots of things. Being grateful makes me sing. Being grateful makes me sing. Count my blessings. Count my blessings every day. When I do, here's what I say. When I do, here's what I say. God gives me a lot. God gives me a lot plus more. Now stop and think about what you're grateful for. You're grateful for cows? <laughs> You're grateful for your family? Mm. You're grateful for bath time? Really? You're grateful for your, oh, you're grateful for your iPad. I bet you are. You're grateful for your friends. Oh, you're grateful for your bike? Yeah. You're grateful for your brother? That's good. Oh, and your sister too? You're grateful for your grandma? Aww. You, oh, you're grateful for donuts? Me too. <laughs> okay. Let's sing it one more time. You ready? We'll go a little faster this time. I'm grateful for lots of things. Being grateful makes me sing. I count my blessings every day. And when I do, here's what I say. God gives me a lot plus more. Now stop and think about what you're grateful for. Oh, so many things. Yay. Good singing, guys. Hey, it's time for our story. This is a story about Thanksgiving and thankfulness and gratitude. And I've got it. Let's see my book right up there. See it? See it? It's right there. See it? I'm going to go get it. <laughs> Here I go. I'm getting my book. Oh, it's called Twas the Night Before Thanksgiving. Twas the Night Before Thanksgiving. Hmm. The night before. Let's see. I think I like this book a lot. I think I already like it a lot. Twas the night before Thanksgiving and all through the trees, the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Eight students had boarded their school bus with grins in hopes that a field trip soon would begin. Have you ever gone on a field trip at school? They're fun. They sang as they rode through autumn terrains while visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. Did you ever eat a drumstick on Thanksgiving? Where does that come from? O'er rivers, through woods, with winding and weaves, their school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out on the road there arose such a clatter, they threw down their windows to see what was the matter. When what with their wandering eyes should they see but a miniature farm and eight tiny turkey and a little old man so lively and rugged they knew in a moment it was Farmer McNugget. McNugget, not McNugget. <laughs> McNugget. He was dressed all in denim from his head to his toe with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then in a twinkling, they heard in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, his cockerels they came. 
He whistled and shouted. He called them by name. <clears throat> now, Ollie, now Stanley, now Larry and Mo, on Wally and Beaver and Shemp and Groucho. The turkeys were chunky with smiley beaked faces and they greeted the children with downy embraces. Downy, that means feathers. Feather hugs, feather hugs, downy embraces. So out through the barnyard, they ran and they flew and they gobbled and giggled as friends sometimes do. Then somebody spotted an ax by the door and she asked Farmer Nugget, what was it for? With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer told them a grim tale of dread. Tonight, said McNugget, these feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted for Thanksgiving feasts. The children stood still as tears filled their eyes. Then they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. They don't want that to happen to the turkeys. Oh dear, cried McNugget. Now what shall we do? So he dashed to the well, and the teacher went too. And they fetched some water fresh from the ground in hopes that a swig might calm everyone down. And when they returned to quiet the matter, the children were calmer and mysteriously fatter at these kids. <laughs> Why are they fatter? The boys and the girls drank up their drinks in the hay. They thanked old McNugget and waddled away. What is inside their shirts? They limped to the school bus, all huffing and puffing. It's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. And then, as the school bus drove off in the night, McNugget looked round, not a turkey in sight. Twas the night before Thanksgiving, and the stars up above shone down on a school bus abounding with love. They saved the turkeys. The very next evening, eight families were blessed with eight fluffy Thanksgiving turkeys as guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast and Everyone was thankful. The turkeys were most. Were the turkeys grateful? Oh, yeah, they were. They got to be at the feast instead of being the feast. See them all? See the turkeys? See them? Yep, they're all in the windows. See this one here? Yep. See them all? So each one gave thanks for love and for living and they all had a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. Yay, the end, bum bum. So thank you friends for listening to that book. I loved it so much. We're gonna make a craft. We're gonna do it pretty quick. Oh, who was thankful in that book? I wanna ask you first. Yes, the turkeys were grateful. And then at Thanksgiving time, you know, everybody counts their blessings and talks about how grateful they are. So everybody was thankful, but I think the turkeys were the most because they didn't have to be the feast, right? So we're going to make a craft. 
Let me take this down. I'm going to do this quite quickly. We're going to make a turkey hat. So get on your computer. You can pause me while you do this. You're going to go out to the youth and family area of the Center for Spiritual Living San Jose website where you're watching this video. And you're going to print out something that says turkey, turkey hat. I think it says turkey hat. Have your big people print it out. It's a PDF. It's two pages and it's going to print out to look like this. Now, if you don't have a printer at your house, that's okay. All righty. So go print that out if you need to. Pause me. And if you don't have a printer at your house, we're going to draw this. Okay. All right. So after you have this, come on back. And if you don't have this, Miss Liz is going to teach you how to draw it. If you don't have a printer, I'm going to teach you how to draw it, okay? So let's do this really quick. I'm going to put, oh, oh, let me tell you everything you need for the craft so you can go and get it, all right? You're going to need a plain piece of paper. Um, even the friends that, the friends that, huh, the friends that don't have a printer, you're going to need, I think, four pieces of plain white paper. Friends that, and if it's notebook paper or whatever, that's fine too. Friends that do have a printer, you're going to need the printout plus one sheet of plain white paper. All right? And then um, you're going to need crayons. You're going to need, I've got them here. Let's see. You're going to need red and brown and yellow and orange crayons. All right? Those are very tricky colors. All righty? And I need those. You're going to need um, glue. You can use a glue stick like me. I've got a big glue stick. Or you could use this kind of glue, this kind of school glue if you have it, some glue. You're also going to need scissors, scissors, and a stapler. If you don't have a stapler, you could use glue. And probably some of you want to have your big people use the stapler for you. All righty. Okay, so we're going to start by drawing these feathers. Oh, and if you are not printing out, you will need a black crayon too. So get your black crayon. We're going to draw seven feathers. They're pretty skinny, okay? They're pointy at the top, and they come down like this, okay? Pointy at the top, come on down, close it at the bottom. Once you get one, you're going to be able to do them all very quickly. Two, three... See how big they are. If you get less than seven, it's okay. Or if you get more than seven, that's okay too. Four, four feathers, five turkey feathers, six turkey feathers, and set. Oh, wait, that was six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Miss Lisa knows how to count. And seven turkey feathers. Seven turkey feathers right there. Great. Now, the next thing you're going to do is draw your turkey, okay? So here's how you do that. If you have the printout, then you can just wait or you can skip ahead on the video if you want. You're going to draw your turkey. You're going to start by drawing its head. It's a circle. It's about that big, okay? And then there's another bigger circle underneath it. Got that? Give him two eyes, a little black dot inside. His beak is an upside down triangle, so it's a line and a slant down and a slant down. Now we're going to draw his feet. They are triangles too, kind of, pretty much like a triangle. About a slant and a slant and close, and then you're going to close the top just a bit. A slant, a slant, close it down here, close it up there. Now you're going to draw two lines, like twin lines, and they're going to touch here and close it there and down and down and a little bit taller, close it. All right, so now you've got your turkey drawn. All right, Miss Liz is gonna go back to this and I'm gonna tell you how to color it. I'm gonna go back to the printout and I'm gonna tell you how to color it, okay? So we want to color his beak and his legs orange, all right? So get your orange crayon and you're going to color his beak and his legs orange. And then I'm not going to color all of this, okay? I'm just going to tell you, because i got one leg orange. You're going to do both legs orange 
and you're gonna color his body brown and his head all brown, all right? Okay, so you can pause me and get that part colored, all right? And then unpause me, all righty? So go ahead and color. Okay, you back? Now we're gonna color these feathers. And I colored them, I did kind of a pattern, it wasn't really a pattern, but I used all these colors, brown, orange, red, and yellow. And I think I did my middle one red, and then I red, and then I did orange, and then I did brown, and then I did yellow. And over here, I did orange, brown, yellow, but I didn't just color a little thing like that. I colored the whole thing, but we're not gonna take time on the video to do all that. You can pause me while you color your feathers. If you wanna do rainbow, if you want purple feathers or pink feathers, that's okay. Just color some turkey feathers and come on back. Pause me and then come on back, all right? Okay. Are you back? All righty. So, the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to get a plain sheet of white paper. And I want you to color the whole thing brown. Can you get a plain sheet of white paper and color the whole thing brown? I know you can, it's easy, it's just all brown. So pause me and do that, color that whole thing brown, and then come on back. Okay, did you get it colored brown? All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get our scissors, and we're going to cut this into threes. So see, about right here, I'm going to cut a strip all the way up. Okay, and then I'm going to cut another strip all the way up. So two straight lines of cutting just like that, and you should have three pieces. Now, if you've got a little head, you might only need two of these. This is gonna be the band of your hat, all right? This is gonna be the band of your hat. I need, I need almost three of them, all righty? So, but we're not gonna use these right now. I just need one, okay? All righty, now, I'm just gonna put it over here for now. I'm gonna use one of those. Now, you cut those strips out. I want you to, Cut out your turkey and cut out the legs. All right, go ahead and pause me while you cut those out. They're already colored, right? You're gonna pause me while you cut those out. Pause me and get them cut out. All righty. Okay, did you do it? All right, here's the turkey. He's all cut out and here are his legs. They're all cut out. Oh, I Miss Liz lost a leg. Here it is. Nope. <laughs> I lost one of my turkey legs. Oh no. That's okay. That's okay. I can cut one out. Can you wait for me while I cut one out? Okay, I'm gonna cut out a turkey leg. I've got another one here. Okay, cutting out this turkey leg. Now this is what would be the drumstick. Are you gonna eat a drumstick on Thanksgiving? Some people do eat turkeys. I don't eat turkeys. But if you eat a turkey leg, it's okay. It has good nutrition in for you. And it is God. Got my other turkey leg, okay. So now I've cut out my turkey and my two turkey legs. And the other thing you need to do now is you've got all of those You've got all of those feathers colored. Cut those feathers out, all right? Cut them all out. Go ahead and pause me, because I got mine already cut out. When you come back, we'll have all of our cutouts. Okay, are you back? All right, so I'm going to start by taking my turkey and turning him backwards. I'm turning him backwards, see that? See how I turned my turkey backwards? Mm -hmm. And now I'm gonna get my feathers. I'm gonna get the one that I want in the middle and I'm gonna put some glue on it. On the colored part, I'm gonna put glue right here on the colored part, and then I'm gonna stick it right about here so it sticks up above his head. I'm gonna put it, I can even put some glue on his head like that. 
And see how that's sticking out now? He's got like a feather coming out of his head. This is going to be his tail, but he's got a big wide one, right? Now I'm going to get, um, I'm going to do my orange ones now. I'm going to glue the orange ones on. So I'm going to put glue not quite halfway of the whole thing. And it's going to be slanted this way. See that? It's touching that and it's slanting. I'm going to get my other orange one. Here it is. Putting glue on the orange. He, my turkey's turned backwards. There I go. That one right there. And you see how it looks like in the front? He's starting to have a tail. See that? Okay. Now we're going to get our brown ones. I'm going to put glue here. Not quite halfway. About that much. And I'm going to glue it on like that. And I'm going to do that to the other brown one too. See that? They're all kind of fanning out. Now I've got my yellow one. I'm going to put it here. And my other yellow one. You can do yours however you want. All right? You can have any color anywhere. There we go. And now I've got the feet, right? And I'm going to put the glue on the orange part and turn them over and glue them on. So they stick down a little bit. They're going to probably stick in your face a little bit, and that's going to make it really fun. So I'm going to put glue right here on the top of the orange, glue that on. See, it's not sticking too far, sticking too far down, but a little bit. And I'll put this one on. And now, look at my turkey. Oh, I glued to the paper a little bit. That's okay. Look at my turkey. Isn't he great? Yeah! Now, I'm going to glue this whole turkey onto this hat right here, onto this hat piece, like this. So right above where his legs are and a little bit where the feathers are, I'm going to put glue. So I'm going to put glue all here, here on his, kind of like what his belly is, and on some of these feathers. Now make sure you're not going to get it on your head. You might want to even just put your glue here in the middle of this strip, like that. You do it that way too. Then you're gonna take him and you're gonna glue him on like this. There he is, the turkey. See that? Got that? Now you're gonna take your other two strips. You can staple them together. So I'm stapling this one. Probably want a big person to help you with this, remember? And then I'm stapling this one. Almost done, you've done so well. Now I'm gonna fit this on my head, let me see. Oh, <laughs> I love my turkey hat. Look at it, I gotta move down, can't even see all of you. Okay, now I'm gonna staple this so it fits my head. There we go. And I have a turkey hat for Thanksgiving. Yay, let me move this. There we go. Now I can see my whole, oh, look at his feathers moving. I love my turkey hat. <laughs> I'm so grateful for my turkey hat. I'm grateful for you. I love my turkey hat. I love all of you. Thank you for watching the video. And I'll see you next time. Next time, it's a fifth week in, in, in November. We're going to learn about all the things God is. Oh, it's going to be really fun. It's a special fifth week in the month. So I will see you then. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next time.